As I said before, we're going to come back to visible light. And it's called visible light because it's the portion of the electromagnetic spectrum that stimulates our eye. And of course, visible light is composed of these different colors. If we look at the colors of visible light, again, from 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers, they're the colors that we've learned in junior high or high school that the colors we're familiar with. From shorter wavelengths to longer wavelengths of visible light, we have violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. And I expect you to know this. I expect you to be able to tell me what are the shortest wavelength colors and the longest wavelength colors. Maybe in high school you learned Roy G. Biv, R-O-Y-G-B-I-V, standing for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. You might have learned that. Use that one. That's going from long wavelengths to short wavelengths. Maybe you heard a clever song or a jingle that helps you remember the colors in their order. If so, send it to me. I'd love to hear it because I don't know any. Now, oftentimes indigo is not included in the color spectrum in a sense because many people can't see it. And so sometimes you'll see, and in the book you may see, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet with indigo skip. But it doesn't mean it's not a true color. It's just uh, for convenience and because most people can't distinguish the difference between indigo and violet that we don't include it. So these are the visible colors that we see. These are the parts of visible light. All right, well, why can we see visible light? In your eye are these things, these cells called rods and cones. And this is a section that's just really more for your interest than anything else, but I think it helps you understand light and, and some of the things we're gonna talk about a little bit later on. Those cones in your eye are able to, or they're sensitive to, specific colors. So you have six to seven million cones in your eyes, and some of those cones, 64%, in fact, are sensitive to red wavelengths of light. 34% of them are sensitive to green wavelengths of light, and just a small percent are sensitive to blue wavelengths of light. It's that RGB in your eye that reproduces all the colors in the world that you see around you. Where have you heard RGB before? I'm sure if you think about it, you'll remember where you've seen it. Blue cones, those cones, those cells in your eye that can detect blue color, are maximally sensitive at 445 nanometers. This is a secret number. Remember this number, 445 nanometers. We're gonna come back to it. It's not really so much a secret number, but an important number, 445 nanometers. So jot it down, write it on your arm, go have it tattooed, because it's going to be an extraordinary number for us when we start talking about photosynthesis in the ocean. And just for sake of completeness, the rods in your eye, they function for dark vision and motion and those colors and those kinds of things. When we see something, what we're seeing is its ability to absorb or reflect certain colors. So my red shirt, for example, is absorbing all colors of the visible light spectrum except red. That's why it looks red. A butterfly with its orange wings is absorbing all colors except orange or yellow orange. Black, on the other hand, is the absence of color. So black simply means that a black object, or if you're wearing a black shirt, is absorbing all colors. That's why black objects heat up faster, because they're absorbing all that electromagnetic radiation that's coming, that's impinging on that particular surface. Okay, so if you think of a black car, it's a lot hot, hotter than a white car. Or if you've ever uh, traveled in the Mideast, mid you probably won't ever see them wearing black robes to keep cool. They wear white because white is actually absorbing no colors. All right, so white is a reflection of all the colors. And so on average, when you think of light or think of lights, you think of them providing white light, They're providing all colors of light. So white is actually all colors. Black is absorbing 
all colors. White surfaces are reflecting all those colors. So snow and ice or a white robe or a white shirt are reflecting heat. That's why they're cooler. So again, all objects absorb some colors and reflect other colors. The absorbed colors are the ones you don't see. The reflected colors are the ones that travel and stimulate your eye. White objects reflect all colors. Black objects reflect no color.